Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another PHP video tu tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the str replace function. Now, let's have a look at what this looks like. It's str underscore replace. Now, you've probably already worked out what it does. If not, I'll talk to you uh, a bit about that. The str replace um, typically takes three arguments. Uh, these are the required arguments. The first one is a string uh, that you want to look into. The second is what you want to replace a specific word with. And the last is um, the words that you'd like to replace. Um, no, in actual fact, it's uh, the other way around. For the string, um, it's the words that you want to look for. So, um, looking for the words here, uh, what you want to replace, and the last argument is uh, the string that you want to look in. So, let's uh, create an example of this. We'll just get rid of this function here. Um, I'm going to create a string up here, and I'm going to make this equal to this is an example, and um, well, this is a string and is an example. Okay, so what we first of all need to do is create a new variable. You can echo out the function in itself, but it's always good practice to create a new variable. So I'm going to say string, uh, or no, I'm going to create a new string equals str replace. And then inside here, we can start to put in our parameter, uh, our arguments. So the first one is going to be the words that you, the word that you want to replace. So I'm going to replace the word is inside of this. Now the next argument is what you want to replace it with, and I'm just going to replace it with nothing. Then the last is is where you're looking. So we're looking inside this string variable here, uh, which is equal to this value here. So what we're doing is in this function, we're looking through the whole string and we're removing the word is because we're replacing the word is with nothing so we'll be removing this we'll be removing this and we'll also be be removing this so let's have a look and we'll come down here and echo out new string let's tidy this up a bit okay so let's refresh and you can see that we've removed the is from here we've removed the is after that and we've re removed the is uh, before the uh, after the and and before the an. So, what happens if we want to replace um, a lot of words? So maybe we want to replace is with something and string with something and maybe even example with something. Now, you could come down and um, copy and paste this and say, oh, sorry, didn't mean to delete that. And we could say uh, we want to replace string with nothing as well. And then when we refresh, you can see that that goes as well. But you can see what's happened. The is's have come back. So um, what hap what, what's going on here is that we, it's, a, it's not a great way of, um, oh, actually, we could change this here to new string and refresh. So that's got rid of both of them. So we're just using the uh, the new string before. However, you can see that this is a really, really horrible, not very nice way of doing things. It's going to be slower and it's just not going to look right. So there's a simple solution. Um, if you've already looked at arrays, you'll know what arrays are, how they work and what their uses are. But this is a really, really useful way um, to replace many. So we're going to create a variable called find. And we're going to make this an array. Now inside here, we're going to create a few variables in the array, a few uh, values of this array that we want to replace. So I'm going to choose three. I'm going to choose um, is, string, and example. So I want all these words in here to be taken out of here or replaced with something else. So what am I going to put in this value here? We've already selected the uh, value is, but simply I could just put find in there. And what this function is automatically going to do is it's going to look through each one of these and find each one and simultaneously replace them with what you specify here. So let's say I wanted to uh, replace is with nothing, string with nothing, an example with nothing. This function is now ready to work. So let's refresh and see what happens. You can see that that's deleted all three of the words. 
So now what happens when we want to replace is with something, but we want to place string an example or just string or just example with something else. Well, it's exactly the same concept. We can just create a new variable called replace and we can uh, put the values that correspond to each one. So I want to replace is with is in capitals, string with string in capitals, and I want to get rid of example. So now what we can do is just simply put this replace in here, and now we're all set up with uh, both arrays with the corresponding values that are going to re be replaced. So let's refresh, and you can see that it's capitalized the is's in the sentence, it's capitalized string, and it's removed the word example. So it's a really flexible way of doing things, and it's obviously better to use an array. Now, why is this function useful and why would you use it? Now, the example I always give is that you may have a select few words that you don't want to appear in maybe some public posts on your website. And the example, and a good example for this is using uh, a, a bad word filter or a swear word filter. So we could have, say, um, a list of um, obscenities in a text document and we might want to read these in on a line by line basis. We automatically then, if we use the file function, we read in um, a text file with a line by line basis and they're automatically put into an array. So then you can automatically um, replace uh, or you can find within a certain uh, string and you can automatically replace an array created by um, uh, different functions. So this is a really, really useful function in PHP that you'll probably come across at some point. Um, otherwise, for now, practice with it. Um, if you've already watched my tutorial on uh, opening files um, and opening up lines of files as uh, an array, then try and incorporate this into it and play around with it and see what you can come up with. And even down here, you could try and add some uh, user input or uh, or something that you know a user can input a certain amount of text, and then we can uh, delete obscenities or star out obscenities uh, corresponding to each value.